Floods in North Korea Update Dike rupture engulfed hundreds of hectares of farmland amid a severe food crisis, thousands of people died from lack of food. Korea has been hit by severe flooding amid a national crisis that could lead to thousands of deaths from food shortages. People had to leave their homes after heavy rains devastated huge swathes of farmland. KRT, the country's state broadcaster, reported that some 5,000 people had been evacuated and more than 1,000 homes destroyed. It comes as the impoverished North admits it is facing a food crisis in June, sounding alarm bells in a country that has long struggled to feed itself. Heavy rains that lasted for several days together caused severe flooding in North Korea. The report said hundreds of hectares of farmland were submerged or lost in the country's South Hamjiang province after the river dike collapsed. The people were swept away with their houses and fields, and there was nothing left to live on. The past few days when the disaster struck, the North Korean leader had a headache because he did not know how to deal with the consequences of the flood. The country is facing widespread food shortages and has no concrete plan or solution. North Korea is a poor country and too focused on nuclear weapons investment. People's lives have not been given much attention along with the country's weak infrastructure and efforts to clear forests and floods have greatly affected the isolated country. Last month, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations forecast that North Korea is facing a food shortage of about 860,000 tons this year. In June, leader Kim Jong-un said the country faced a stressful food situation and would rely heavily on this year's harvest. But there will be no more harvests for this year when the floods have swept them all away. North Korea is in liberal isolation due to the coronavirus pandemic, and as a result trade with Beijing the country's economic lifeline is now dripping. Ri Yong Nam, deputy director of the state hydrometeorological department, told North Hamjiang state broadcaster that more than 500 millimeters of rain had been recorded from Sunday to Tuesday. More rain is forecast in August in various regions, including North Korea's east coast, which could cause further damage to the troubled country.